member from Chestermere Rocky View. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'm truly honoured and sincerely humbled to rise before you on behalf of the constituents of Rocky View and Chestermere and to address the Assembly in response to the speech from the throne. It is time for all members of this Assembly to roll up our sleeves and get to work representing each of our constituents and indeed all Albertans. I invite you as my esteemed colleagues to collaborate on many levels so that we can make Alberta better for a better place for all Albertans. Our new government needs to demonstrate and respect that we work on behalf of the people of this fine province and we are here to help. Albertans voted for change and it is time to proceed with that change. Where things were hidden, they can now come forward. Where things were clouded, we have an opportunity for transparency. Where government has been disingenuous, it can act instead with integrity. We can work together and move forward in creating stability where there has been instability. We can create accessibility where there has been inaccessibility. We can create savings where we have been overspending. And we can earn the trust where there has been mistrust. We can use this opportunity to get back to grassroots politics. Over the past five months, Albertans, Albertans spoke, and this is what they asked for. Honest government, transparency, a government that is willing to collaborate with its opposition, insight, thoughtfulness, to do more than what's expected, and to stabilize the energy sector and getting the product to market. Showing Albertans that we work for them and that the money we spend in this government is theirs and not ours. So how do we accomplish these common sense goals and aspirations of our constituents? It begins with outreach. We need to know our constituents. They are the experts about the issues facing them. Some of these issues for the constituents of Rocky, Chestermere and Rocky View are local health care, flood mitigation, property rights, education, seniors care, and safe roads. Our constituency is very different from many other ridings because we have urban and rural issues to address. We have hamlets, villages, towns, cities, acreages, ranches, farms, and homesteads. All have specific needs that are close to their hearts. The diversity within this constituency is what makes it both beautiful and complex. The only way to accomplish our goals is to make sure that all people have a voice. This is what I plan to do for my constituents in Chestermere, Langdon, Conrich, Indus, Catherine, Kioma, Delacour, Delroy, Dalmead, Balzac, Springbank, Bearspaw, Elbow Valley, Redwood Meadows, Cochrane Lake, the Tsutsina First Nations, and numerous farms and ranches in between. Being trusted as the Shadow Cabinet Minister with a portfolio of energy in this energy-rich province of ours is an honour and a challenge that I will tackle head-on. Working to Working together, we can move Alberta forward by creating solid public policy that benefits all Albertans. Our energy sector needs the support of all government that listens to all stakeholders because strong economies are created through the intelligence of the leaders who understand the different sides to each of the stories. What we do not yet understand, we need to learn by reaching out and truly connecting with the leaders and experts in Alberta's energy marketplace. This same outreach approach to listening and learning can and should be used in all sectors of our economy as we strive to diversify and meet the cyclical challenges head on. There is an educated and intelligent workforce in all of our industries who need the support, less bureaucracy, to continue to grow and thrive. To me, successful leadership means drawing the best out of each person in order to achieve results for the greater good. Leadership does not mean making unilateral decisions that best suit the leader. As elected leaders in this province, we will be successful if we first seek the input and the expertise of Albertans when they work towards a common sense policy decisions. We need clarity and commitment from the government and its intentions in the energy sector. To create the desired stability, this requires our government to show leadership and to promote a climate for investment and growth. 
This sector, like all sectors, employ us to make sound decisions in our future. It is in this sector that will also allow us to diversify and receive little attention in the speech. I have to say, being part of the tradition of the House, sitting here amongst my colleagues, participating in creating the future of our province is just phenomenal. And I take to heart many of the positive attributes in the throne speech, and such as, and I quote, we believe in looking after our children and making sure they are safe, healthy, and have access to excellent education. And being a mother, I applaud this statement and look forward to seeing how our government will follow through with this and with life-saving infrastructure in Chestermere and Rocky View. Jaden Sommerfeld's tragic death on Wednesday, June the 10th must not be forgotten. And this tragedy must serve as a reminder for all of us in this House that we have a responsibility to create safe roads for our citizens. On this, we must agree. The constituency of Chestermere Rocky View requires a strong stance on flood mitigation that will benefit both the City of Calgary and the affected municipalities surrounding the city. This, again, requires good public policy. We have families in Chestermere and Rocky View who lost their cabins and second homes in the flood of 2013 and to this day are not able to seek compensation for their losses and continue to pay mortgages on properties that no longer exist. A friend of mine often says to me, there is no limitations on good ideas, and I firmly believe in this philosophy. It takes humility and the ability to listen to information, to take it in, and to truly collaborate. Alberta's prosperity was built collaboratively. Albertans work collaboratively to create an advantage that at one time attracted investment, thereby creating jobs, low taxes, and created a strong economy through the investment into the people of Alberta. Small businesses make up 90% of all businesses and are responsible for 35% of all private sector employment in this province. Small businesses and the entrepreneurial spirit are alive and well in this province. These businesses need to be nurtured and encouraged to generate wealth, respected and not punished for their hard work. Again, I refer to the throne speech, and again I quote, Alberta's new government will work closely with all members in this House and will take into careful account of your views and those of all Albertans. I hope to hear in the future of our government's plans to balance the budget. Remember, we are here to help. There is something that all Albertans, this is something that all Albertans need and deserve for the future. This will create the stability the government has spoken about, and Albertans spoke about it so passionately at the doors. We do not have a revenue problem. We need proper management of this, of Albertans' money. Let me state this again, Albertans' money. We need not throw more money into the pot when we are not privy to the state of our finances. We are an assembly of many new faces, and we have much to learn and even more to accomplish moving forward. Let's understand the privilege we hold, the responsibility we bear by sitting in these seats. Let's build a better future and leave a legacy stronger than it was for our children and beyond. Let's learn from the triumphs and the challenges of those who have been here before us and those who are returning to sit here with us. I would love to thank my friends, both old and new, my family, and my constituents for placing their faith in me. And remember, we are here to help. Thank you.